Jeff's dreams, I bought a brand new iPhone 12 from the Apple Store. Let's open it. Yeah. This is my current iPhone. It's an iPhone 8. I bought this from the Apple Store. I will not buy iPhones from AliExpress ever again. I got this in three days directly from the Apple Store and it is unlocked. It costs 111,000 Japanese yen, which is about 1,013 US dollars. And it is 128 gigabytes. Here it is. Wow. As I mentioned, I bought this from the Apple Store. That's the Apple Store in Japan. I'm going to open this carefully. Ta-da! I ordered blue. Wow, I'm going to put protective film. It is thicker than my iPhone 8. There are tons of videos on YouTube about the iPhone 12. It's not that heavy. It sort of reminds me of my old iPhone 6 Plus. Everything's wow. Wow for me. Okay, I'm going to, going to turn it on. This is the power on button. Hello. Swipe up. Hola. Okay. Multi language. Uh, I want English. I'm going to set this up. I'm in Japan. To sign in. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. That's interesting. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But before I do that, let's just quickly look at the other things in the box. Here's a lightning cable. And... Okay, it's, it's one of those pins. So that's all. I'm going to try and set this up and I'll be back. Just by bringing my old phone near this iPhone and it's transferring the data from my other phone to this new phone. It's amazing. Wow. Are you serious? Face ID. How to set up Face ID. First, position your... Position your face within. Okay. Wow. Wow, there are two scans. Face ID is now set up. Continue. You can directly transfer your data during setup or finish downloading it later. This is amazing.
horses. Your Apple ID can now be used to set up your new iPhone. Oh. Okay. Next. Wow, that was pretty fast. Restore from... Uh, okay. Sorry guys. Oh, here it is. Good. Today. Another code? Well, I can do this after, right? I'll set up wallet later. Sorry guys. Yeah, I noticed that they don't have this home button. It's gone. I'll be back. It's doing a software update, so I'll be back. I think it's done. It's still doing it. It worked! Ta-da! Off camera. I put on a protective film. I finished setting up my iPhone. I've transferred my files from my iPhone 8. Actually, it was really easy. I won't go into the specs because I won't be able to talk about it much. All I can tell you about this phone is that there's a new and faster processor, an A14 Bionic processor, and it supports 5G. And the camera, is supposed to be awesome. Look, look, there are two lenses. And as you can tell, I got blue. So I finished setting this up, as I said. I've also got a case, which uh, I had to buy separately. And one other thing, there's no home button anymore. Okay, to turn it on, press this button to the right. There's no home button anymore. There is a flashlight and camera mode. When I press this flashlight, it actually pulsates and the light is on. Okay, to turn it off, press the flashlight, it pulsates and it's off. Okay, let's see what happens if I press the camera, it pulsates and it automatically turns on. Reverse, forward. Okay, let's just get out. 
swipe to unlock. Face ID. Swipe up for face ID or enter passcode. Face ID. See? It works. I haven't put my SIM card in yet. You can tell there's no SIM. To put your SIM card in, there's a slot with a tiny hole near the bottom left side, right over here. And a little pin came with his phone. By pressing that, I insert my SIM card and then I'm good to go. Still looking on the left, this little switch is silent mode. So watch this. Silent mode on, pushing it up, silent mode off. And these two buttons are your volume control, up and down, up. I'm going to my Apple Store. Now, how do you update? I'm going to my Apple Store to see if I can update. Okay, I've already set up my Apple ID. Sorry about the background noise. Okay, I click on this profile picture and I go down to purchased. My purchases. And here are all my apps, and this is where you update. It's different from the iPhone 8, but this is the way to do it. Okay, so, done. Okay, I still have to play with this. I don't know how to use this. Um, all I can say that I love it, and I hope the picture quality is fantastic. I'm going out to play with this. I'm going to use the video mode, of course, and the camera mode. Oh, and check out my iPhone 12 case. I got this from the Amazon store. It comes with a ring. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. This has a built-in lens cover that switches and to close it, just slide it and it, it locks in. You have to apply a little bit of force to slide it across. You hear that? It's locked in. Pretty good. Anyway, I like it very much. I hope to love it. And uh, I recommend getting the 128 gigabyte one if you can afford it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.